So can you tell me what your act is all about? Get volunteers up there. Uh, I don't preset anything. I do not prearrange volunteers. I, I make sure that uh, everyone is comfortable. I have no idea who is going to go up on stage. I prefer it that way for me. Keep my excitement level up. Um, the people that come up on stage are definitely going to be obviously the show. Now, I'm not the show. I'm just the director of fun, but I have a damn good time. But the people that volunteer, they're, they're, especially have seen the show, and mine is an adult show. It's not, um, it's not a normal, average hypnosis show that you would see all in a ravine type of thing, very family. I, mine is very marketed to the adult crowd, so therefore, um, I use them in that sense, but you know, we're all sexual in one way or another. We've all lived a certain lifestyle. We've all had like very funny experiences, and I like to bring that out. And the audience really is not laughing at the person that's on stage doing something really off the wall. They're really identifying with something that happened to them. And that's what makes the show work. So is it true that there are some things people will not do? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I mean, everybody has a little alarm clock or a bell that's going to go ding, ding, ding. Hey, I, I shouldn't do that. Or at least it will slow down their thoughts to the fact that they will not, uh, they'll have to reanalyze. Oh, I don't want to do this. Like if I told somebody they have a bird on their finger and they have a phobia to birds, they would either shake themselves out of it, they wouldn't panic. And if, it, if the panic happened, it would be for seconds. And then bang, they're, they're alert. Like a bad dream wakes you up. And you have a little residual after that, like, oh, God, that seems so real. So uh, nobody gets hurt under this uh, this type of a show because it's, it's very light, very airy. There are some intense moments, though. But <laughs> so... It. So basically, that you you could make someone who is willing do anything. Else. Like in other words, if I put a gun in their hand and say, "Go out there and shoot somebody," or if, go they were, rob a bank, if, if they were susceptible to it, would they? Go it's along their personality. With it? I mean, this has been argued for uh, for many years. Who would be? Could you take a little mild-mannered little old lady and say, "Here's a gun, uh, blanks in it, and go rob a bank." They'll get twenty thousand dollars in cash. She may want the twenty thousand dollars in cash, but it's not in her nature to pull the trigger. She wouldn't do it. She just she'd freeze and she'd come out of it. So you really can't make anybody do anything they don't want to do because their little alarm goes off. I, I mean, I have like special friends in LA. I mean, I'm very tight with the movie colony. I mean, like uh, Martin Sheen's my half brother. Um, I you look a little like him, you see. Well, it's it's an old fact anyway. I mean, and uh, we do uh, sometimes within. I mean, I've done parties for Jane Fonda. We've got tape on it and stuff with Jane Fonda on it and stuff. Um, well, that's L.A. though. See, that's like. But, uh, okay. yeah. Madonna was an opening act for me once in Miami. Um, I've entertained for Fred Astaire, Rex Reed, former Mayor John Lindsay in New York City. I've entertained for, uh, oh my God, Free, uh, Queen Frederica of Greece. Um, so what is the most uh, bizarre story you incident? <laughs> I've had, um, it's, it's almost too, too long of a story, but one of the things is, you know, at the end of the show, I turn the guys into Chippendale dancers. Well, one night I choose to use in San Francisco, have this guy do a belly dance because he was very large. And as it turned out, I turned and I said, well, now you're a male stripper. Well, his belly was so large that his belt was cinched up. So he loosened the belt, and the pants dropped to the floor, and he was not wearing any underwear. But it didn't matter because all this covered it. <laughs> he, he, uh, he probably didn't come out of the hypnosis at that point? No, it was just it was in the middle of the routine. And then I just went like, well, well we threw a bunch of jackets on him right now and put him, <laughs> woke him up. He had a little red face for about a year. <laughs>
flash expressions on their face, just check this out. This is real. When I count to three, all of you, lie down. When I count to three, make yourself comfortable. One is eight. Count to three, you're going to grab a hold of your pillow or teddy bear. You do not believe that you are, you are just going to grab a hold of the person next to you because that is not a man. It is not a woman, but that's your teddy bear. When I count three, just get it. One, two, three. Watch this. Tell me to my couch three. Flop up your pillow. One, two, three. 